What's up everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS in Rocket League. Uh, really nice option that you have inside of the game. You can just select performance if you want and all the <laughs> almost all the option will be removed, okay? Uh, the problem with that is like the game does not look good anymore. So yeah, you will have a lot of FPS, but the game doesn't look good. Uh, this game is very well optimized and it's running on DirectX 9. So uh, I still do the, the, um, the video because a lot of people are playing with a laptop or a low-end computer. And uh, my guide will help you. Okay? So we will go in the config file because we have a lot of different options in this config file. So we will go back to high quality. Exit the game. Here. Don't to f if you want to find the uh, config file, you need to go to documents. My game, Rocket League, tag game, config, and you open this task system settings. So this is the file. As you can see, we have a lot of options here that you don't necessarily have in the game. The first thing that you want to remove is remove all the shadows in the game, okay? So for example, light environment shadow false, dynamic shadow false, uh, auto image reflection shadowing false. Those trees option will gain you 8 to 10 FPS, so that's a lot. Uh, for me, shadows is not something important when you play a game, and when it's a competitive game, you don't care about shadow, so just remove it. Next, it's uh, all the uh, dynamic things. So dynamic lights go to false, dynamic, fall, uh, dynamic decals false too. Uh, all those dynamic options uh, need a lot of power because they are dynamic. So, for an example, dynamic lighting, you just, uh, your whatever truck or car, just go in front of a light. The light need to adapt. So, uh, your computer needs a lot of calculation to do that. So, you will lose uh, FPS when you use those kind of options. Same thing in composite, composite, sorry, I'm French, composite dynamic lights. Make sure that this one is at false. And uh, one thing that I like to remove is motion blur because I really don't like this effect. Uh, you can remove it. I, I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but still, I have 1 to 2 FPS improvement when I uh, remove it. But again, it can be a margin of error, so whatever. Uh, two other things that you can remove if you still don't have uh, your 60 FPS. It's depth of fill. You can put this one at false. And ambient occlusion, you can put this one at false. And also uh, bloom if you want. Uh, those are kind of nice effects or so just by ambient inclusion you can remove it if you remove your shadow but uh, you will gain maybe uh, one to two FPS for each one so may yeah if you're lucky you will gain six if you're not you will gain four but still if you're at like 55 FPS can be nice to uh, to remove it so over there you have a lot of other options that you can tweak uh, resolution of your shadows uh, a lot of different stuff over there so uh, you can look at it and just do some testing but you should start with all those shadows dynamics light and a uh, small option like a depth of feel ambient occlusion and bloom if you have any question just comment in the youtube section your cpu gpu ram and i will try to uh, help the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe guys peace